Welcome to Chef Alley's Farm Fresh Kitchen. Good morning and welcome back to 13 News this morning. No, don't adjust your television sets or you look at your calendar and go, wait a second, is this Thursday morning? <laughs> right. Got a bonus edition of Chef Alley and her Farm Fresh we Kitchen. Uh, got some uh, wonderful smelling dishes here. Or just you. one predominant. And we got some bread here, which is interesting as mm -hmm. well. But mm -hmm. we're talking about, you know, often we talk about the things that are going on behind the scenes when it comes to food production and what has to happen. And mm -hmm. something that is extremely important, and ask any Kansas farmer out here, and they'll tell you bees are extremely, extremely important to getting food from out of the field into the table. It is, and you know what? I have to say that I honestly wasn't as aware of this mm -hmm. as I should have been, but um, this week coming up is National Pollinator Week, June 20th through the 26th, and it's um, been really cool to learn about the initiative that Bayer has that's called Feed a Bee, mm -hmm. because you know that anything that, uh, anytime it comes to agriculture, I love to use all of my flat platforms to bring us together, because I think when we learn about something together, mm -hmm. we're a lot more effective and it's just been really cool with the fee to be um, program to see and National Pollinator Week to see how we can bring attention to honeybees and other pollinators to celebrate them because they are so vital to our ecosystem. Mm -hmm. There's a shortage of bees out there as well. There is a shortage of bees and a lot of times people think that that has to do um, strictly with pesticides and herbicides mm -hmm. and that's really not true because sometimes there's climate changes that affect um, our ecosystems but also think about this um, when we have urban sprawl and we decide we want to go from the city to the country and set up those neighborhoods, that messes up a lot of ecosystems, sure bees included. So there's there's a lot of different reasons for the bee shortage. And the main point at this, um, at this time, I think, is that we come together and figure out how can we help them. And it's a really easy fix. There are three things that you can actually do. You can go to um, feedabee.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, just through the next few weeks, you can still get free seed packets that they will send you. And then if you take photos of your planning experiences um, and then use the hashtag uh, feed to be mm -hmm. to promote those on your social media platforms. And then the other thing you can do is um, go to, um, you can tweet it. If you can't feed a bee, you can tweet a bee. And all you have to do is tweet feed a bee and use the bee emoji. And then Bayer will plant um, flowers on your behalf oh, in case you don't have that green nice, thumb. Yeah, nice. so it's super cool. So if you yeah. live in an apartment or live in a really it shady yard like I do, and <laughs> can't can't do any <laughs> blooming flowers, yeah. and there you go. There's Absolutely. there's alternatives. Yeah. So yeah. it's really cool. Yeah. So the honey side, um, as far as pollinators go, um, it's really cool if you can buy local honey. Like I, I buy my um, honey from my friend David Criswell, who lives out almost to Hayes. And it's really cool when you go to the farmers markets and things. Um, this is Kansas wildflower honey. We want to buy our honey local locally because if you're struggling with local allergies your body's apt to it a little bit better exactly yeah. that will help you um, you know manage that a little bit better because mm -hmm. people are always saying to me why should I buy my honey local that's exactly why absolutely yeah. and our incorporation in the meal today is something we couldn't have done without bees exactly the yeah. berries mm -hmm. those are pollinated by bees and so we have a warm summer berry skillet here and Chris if you want to dump that topping on there this just is just dump <laughs> it or I mean do I need well, to place it okay. how about that okay okay this is um, a granola top that has quinoa and oats and almonds. Almonds are another thing too that bees pollinate and mm -hmm. so we just put that on the top and when we serve it we can put a little topping of our um, yogurt if you want to use vanilla yogurt on top to give it a little garnish and then a quick drizzle of your honey it's mm -hmm. kind of fun this is also sweetened with this nice dark honey and then up here we have our honey drizzled goat cheese crostini you're having a dinner party soon this mm -hmm. might just show up as one of your some appetizers. goat cheese crostinis <laughs> yeah okay with a little bit of thyme some fresh lemon zest yeah isn't it pretty mm -hmm. and then we do a quick drizzle of our nice dark honey over the top oh, so. looks good looks yeah. good all right yeah. all in thanks to bees I mean, absolutely. We, some of us think pollinators. Of, we're scared of them because they sting <laughs> and whatnot, but they are yeah, doing we a need vital, to celebrate vital role. Them. Yes, absolutely. So celebrate National Pollinator this week, June 20th through the 26th, and use that local honey when you're cooking because, oh, it is so delicious to incorporate as a natural sweetener. Very nice. Chef yep, Alley, thanks absolutely. so much. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Thanks for joining us.